Welcome to this week's Chinook News! Good morning, Chinooks! It is week two of the new year, and we are so excited to see you here. Great second week back. Woo! Great Lots week back. Things. Lots of expectations were covered. We had visitors in our building watching our continuous improvement. And I have to say, Miss Rutherford's class and Miss Munt's class, you did some great teaching to the adults. So fantastic job. And talking about that, we throughout that time too, we are seeing so much of our standards of excellence being implemented throughout our building. Collaboration, respect, and this month we are focused on consistent. So staying true to our mission and goals, even when things change, we can still continue to be awesome. All right. And just a couple of announcements this week. Our read days are gonna be January 12th, which is tomorrow, and January 27th. So we do not have school on the 16th, which means next week we won't see you till Tuesday, and then you will be here Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So four days next week, but instead of coming on Monday, you come on Friday. All right. And then we have Read Across America that's coming up, which is February 27th through March 2nd. We're just wanting to let you know about that now to give you a quick update. And then we also have our curriculum night that is happening on March 2nd as well. So just stay tuned for more information that will be coming out, but we wanna let you know ahead of time so you can all participate in that. And yikes, Miss Anderson, did you check out the Lost and Found today? No, I haven't checked out the Lost and Found. And Ooh. I'm guessing a lot of these guys haven't either. Let's go right now, do a quick little break, and let's go check out that Lost and Found. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I can't help, I can't help. I haven't seen this in all week. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen them all week either. I wonder where he could be. <laughs> oh my gosh, Chinooks. There's so much lost and found. I was buried right over there. Do you believe this pile of lost and found? We need you to come check it out to see, did you leave your umbrella? Did you leave your lunchbox? Maybe you have a hoodie or a coat still over here. Come get your stuff before I drown. Ah. All right, one really exciting thing that you will start to see in your classroom and in our hallways and really in every area of our building is those school-wide agreements that you all made at the beginning of the year. And then we took all those steps to make sure we were all in agreement on how we can be our best learners. Those are going up on the walls. Yes, finally. And then Miss Anderson and the rest of CRE, we have our school-wide assembly coming up at the end of the month on January 26th. So get prepared for that because we also wanna be recognizing those students for that consistent behavior for that standards of excellence. Awesome. Well, and next up, we have our trivia. Trivia, which we haven't done for a little while. So we have our kinder through second grade. Let's dig in and see who wins. Okay, and this was a two-parter. Not only did they have to write their numbers, but there were some math problems on the bottom that they needed to solve. So in Ms. Hill's class, we have Trekker. Trekker took the time, made all sure most of his numbers were going in the right direction. Nice job, Trekker. Thank you for participating. All right, and then our third through fifth grade, another story problem. You wanna go for it? Do it. Down to one. Okay, in fifth grade, Oh my gosh, look at this. In Miss O'Connor's class, we have Brayden. And not only did Brayden do the hard work and he got the right answer, but I love that he highlighted some different things in here that look like they are important information. Great job, my math teacher heart is happy. Woo! Okay, and then our new trivia this week, we're gonna step away from our math and we're gonna focus on those school-wide agreements. So for our uh, kinder through second grade classes, you're gonna be filling out some information about our school-wide agreements. And then our third through fifth graders, I want you to write out all of our school-wide agreements and you will see those agreements posted on this video and in our hallways, so stay tuned. Okay, along with that, we have our awards to hand out today. 
we have our golden plunger. Golden plunger. Let's go ahead and jump over to Mr. Armstrong. Hello, Chinooks. We are here with Mr. Armstrong, and we are here to give you an update on that golden plunger. Mr. Armstrong, what did the plunger fairy tell us this week about our bathrooms? So this week it is gonna be K and one girl's bathroom. Good job, guys. Woo! Nice work, Chinooks, and that K1 girls, keep up that great work. We're looking for super clean bathrooms, making sure paper towels are picked up, toilets are flush, we're washing our hands, and all that soap goes down that drain. All right, Chinooks, until next week, have a super weekend. Okay, and what about that golden tray? Oh, golden tray, Miss McDonald's up. Let's see what happened. Hello, Chinooks. We are in the cafeteria right now and we are ready to reveal that golden tray. So let's go to that golden tray fairy. This week's winner is second grade. Good job, kiddos. Woo, second grade. Let's look at this graph right here. We are catching up to those first graders that are in the lead for our golden tray. Let's keep up the good work, Chinooks. Okay, and how are things going in library? Library, wow, I'm so glad we asked. The library is doing amazing, and guess what? Mrs. T met with that uh, book fairy. Let's see what they have to say. Hello, Chinooks. We are here in the library, and we are here to give you your announcement about that golden book. Oh, wait a second. There's someone behind me reading. Let's go see. Hello, Mr. Wolf. Hello. How are you, Mrs. T? Wonderful. Great. Hey, do you have any great news for us about that golden book? Have you been checking in with that book fairy? I have, and I have to say, for the first time, Halsey's class has really knocked it out of the park. Good job. <gasps> nice work. Keep up that great work, Chinooks. We can't wait to see who wins that golden book next week. Okay, Miss Anderson, that team that won for the uh, golden book, you all get popcorn. Nice wow. work. Way to go, guys. And for the golden tray, we are so close for getting four golden trays from some of those classes. Once we get to that fourth one, that class is going to earn popcorn. So keep up the hard work. You can also track where you're at to getting four golden trays in the cafeteria on the wall. It has the graph, check it out. Awesome, and next up we have birthdays. Happy birthday to you. Not a lot of them, but we hope you have a wonderful day. So we have Leon in kindergarten. We have Naima in kindergarten. We have Reese in fourth grade. We have Logan in second grade. We have Everett in fourth grade. And last but not least, Zach in first grade. So happy birthday to you all. Happy birthday and then please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America and to the, the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Remember, have a great weekend. We enjoyed having you all at school this week. And also, don't forget, there's no school on Monday. School is Tuesday through Friday next week.